25-year-old Ian Brody is sporting a cast on his right arm after dislocating his thumb. For Ian, who has a rare genetic disease called fibrodysplasia ossificant progressiva, it's an injury he can ill afford. Also known as FOP, the disease turns muscles, tendons, ligaments and other connective tissues into bone. On my left arm there, the elbow and shoulders calcified, so I don't have much mobility left in it. And then I have it in my neck, um, down my back. My hips are affected and part of my foot. So I have some mobility left, but it is limited as to what it, I have. Ian was diagnosed with FOP when he was nine years old. Ever since then, we had to, um, we had challenges because we had to uh, educate his teachers as well as um, the medical community and uh, even the dentist because Ian could not get any kinds of needles into the muscles, otherwise these things would actually make the muscles turn into bone. When he first got sick, I was frustrated because I was blaming myself. I thought it was something I had or my wife had or something like that. But uh, through the doctors in Toronto and then through Philadelphia, we found out that it was nothing of our own. There was a mutant gene in his system. And what it does is, uh, it's a gene that heals your body. If you break your arm, what happens is it heals. Well, what happens after it's healed? Well, this gene turns on and turns off. Ian's is turned on and won't shut off. So anytime he gets a bruise or anything of that sort, it calcifies and it forms a bone in, in his body. Uh, the look ahead, it is scary. Um, I have seen older individuals than myself that, uh, that are affected by the disease. Um, used to be called stone man disease as a nickname because you more or less get trapped inside your own body and then you have no mobility left. So it is frightening, but uh, everyone progresses at a different stage. So take it day by day. There's no cure for FOP, but efforts are underway to raise money and to research. To that end, one local woman has taken up the cause. I hadn't heard about FOP until a colleague of mine gave a presentation at work about her cousin Brooke, this 12-year-old girl who has this rare orphan disease. And in this presentation, she gave us information about how tragic it is that these children and these young adults that are suffering from FOP have no foundation to reach out to, have no following, no big group that is raising funds and awareness for this disease. So I felt compelled and heartbroken <laughs> see that there was nobody else really doing a lot of work to help raise some money for this so I thought it was very important and I, I care so that's the slogan for this foundation. On August 11th Miranda will be hosting a 5k run walk at the Bondar Pavilion to raise money and awareness about FOP starting at 9 a.m. Ian Brody and his family will be on hand to share their story with those who attend. For Shaw TV, I'm Tony Telebracci.